What is up everybody and welcome to today's video. For those of you that are new to the channel, my name is Zach. This is SC Fishkeeping. I appreciate you stopping by. Please hit that subscribe button down below if you have not already. Now, today we are in... Hey. And we are here with uh, some of Texas's finest... I'm actually here in Dallas and we are checking out an, a fish wholesaler. So this is a place that most people cannot come to. This is a place that sells the fish that your fish store buys. Right? That you then buy from That the you fish then store. buy. There's it's like, like, it's like a, yeah. It's fishception. But they got a little bit of everything. So I'm gonna take you, we're gonna show you some cool stuff. I'm just gonna kind of spotlight it, but you're gonna do like kind of a whole walkthrough and stuff, right? So, yeah. so I'm gonna put the link down to her channel down below. Definitely go check her out um, and watch this whole place. Let's go. Right off the bat, the first thing you're gonna notice is this fish store is not like your typical fish store. Again, this is not a place you come to to just pick out fish. This is the place your fish store goes to and says, we need more of these so that you can go buy it. But look at these things. It is rows and rows of tanks. I'm looking at snails, I'm looking at snails, I'm looking at snails. So they have a little bit of everything, but the filtration on these things is absolutely insane. I want to show you this. Every tank is rigged up the same way. Water is going to go, let's see, right down here. That tube in the back. The water is going to go, it's going to hit that white PVC. You can probably see it right there. It's going to overflow down through there. It's going to go down. It gets pumped over and it goes into this giant tub with all your filtration and all your media right there. Then they got pumps. It's gonna pump it back up and it's gonna push it back out into all those tanks right there. Then they also have these giant things that I don't have a clue what they are, but they have some really, really gorgeous fish. One of my absolute favorite fish is just down this row here. <laughs> I mean, look at how beautiful that flower horn is. That is a high quality, beautiful hump on the head. This whole row is like, really really colorful african cichlids and then just some beautiful flower horns like <laughs> i love flower horns so some fish store out there is going to get some beautiful beautiful flower horns but let me just go ahead and show you some of the highlights of this room there are so many buildings to this place so let me just give you kind of a quick montage of some of the uh the standouts to me personally fish that they spit water out of their mouth to hit insects off of uh, trees and branches and stuff like that and I've seen ways that people will simulate that in the home aquarium by like building a cage with a lot of driftwood over the top of that let me know down in the comments below if you would want to see me set up like a natural looking archer tank where we could put crickets on driftwood and see if we get them to spit I think that'd be cool A lot of fish, a lot of tanks, uh, some really, really awesome fish. Those long fin Oscars were cool, but uh, you know, I'm a big flower horn lover, so those are probably some of my favorites that I saw. But who would have thought I'd say I was stepping outside in Texas to get uh, a little bit of cool air going. It was pretty warm in there. And we've officially made it to the area that I am close about. This is the saltwater section, but lucky for me, I have someone who knows a thing or two about saltwater tanks, and she's right there. All right, 
I said, I don't know what I'm doing down here, but you are the expert, so show me what are we looking at. Alright, so we're looking at some clownfish. Right here we got some Ocellaris. Um, that is the most common species that you will see in aquariums. Why are they all in a ball? So, when clownfish come together like this, they usually ball up together because they're from the same family. They kind of hatch together. But what ends up happening is you will get two that will branch off to be the most dominant and the second most dominant. So the first most dominant is going to be the female within the group and all the rest of them are just don't have any type of gender at all. So you'll have the female and then you'll have the male which is the second most dominant. And then it just kind of ranks in hierarchy. So if the female dies, the male will become the female and then the next most aggressive will become the male. Does that made any sense to you? If you just hear it that. does, but clownfish are weird apparently. They are. Uh, you, I Who think knew? You missed the biggest part of that. If the female dies, the male will become the female. Well, that's because women are better than men. And have babies. Oh yeah, there's, there's that. Too. They're asexual? Are they asexual? No, no, that's, I don't, yeah, that's not asexual. But... <laughs> Learn something new every no, day. No, I'm sorry, but aren't they both sex though? Aren't they, can't they, is it clownfish okay. that are like that? Yeah, so once they turn female, they cannot turn back. But um, once they turn male, they can turn into female. But most of these in this tank right now do not have any type of gender. <laughs> They're just kind of chill. I'm going to put that rainbow that says, the more you know. <laughs> there you go. So yeah, I have no idea. I just know finding Nemo. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so here's, here's some Nemos right there. Here's some Nemos. So this I know. We found the one thing I know on this side of the store. Nemos. But, uh, yeah, so if you don't mind showing me some more stuff, right. we're going to keep wandering. So, all right, everybody, that is going to wrap up this tour of where your fish stores get their fish from. I hope you guys enjoyed some really cool fish. Um, I think the most interesting thing about coming to a place like this is all of these fish will be sent to different parts of Texas around the Dallas Fort Worth area, and uh, who knows where they're going to end up. They could be in one of your local fish stores. You could buy one of the fish that I just showed you. It's a pretty cool uh, setup. They have a lot of stuff. So I appreciate them letting me come by and take a look. Do me a favor, guys. Go check out P. Will's Reef. She is trying to hit 1,000 subscribers, and I have a feeling that uh, you guys can make that happen. So go check out her channel. Again, the link is down below. Let's see if we can get her over 1,000 subscribers. And as always, thanks for watching. Give a thumbs up. Comment below what you thought. Subscribe to me if you have not already. And remember, this is Zach with SC Fish Keeping reminding you that every fish is a keeper. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. See you soon. See you soon. Mwah. Mwah. <laughs>